The new C virus test is out there, and there are a lot of concerns about the test that I'm hearing from people I know who have to take this test as part of their job requirement, or who have messaged me or left comments in the comments section with concerns that they have had after they were forced to take this test. So today I'm going to have a quick discussion voicing some of those concerns for your consideration. You can decide for yourself if you want to allow the test to be performed on you or not. Needless to say, I personally don't think it's a good idea. And perhaps you may feel the same way after I point a few things out here really quickly. Also, you may notice I refer to it as the C virus, and I'm not saying the proper name. That's because for some reason, YouTube will not allow me to actually say the proper name. Apparently, a lot of people have been restricted from doing so, and I am no exception. Now, first of all, this is a very invasive test. The photo that you are now seeing is the test being performed in action. The swab is inserted into the nasal cavity all the way up to the red line. The red line is the stopping point. The swab is not a soft swab. It's actually a rough surface and it scrapes a sample from the roof of your nasal cavity, which is why many test takers are now jokingly referring to this test as the brain scrape. The complaints from people who have been subjected to this test are nosebleeds, headaches, pain and irritability that sometimes lasts for several days, severe runny noses that can last up to a few hours, and eye pain, just to name a few. There are many jobs that are enforcing this as a point of policy now, particularly any jobs associated with the medical profession. Some places are requiring retesting every two weeks and a full retest of all personnel if someone happens to be positive, even if those other individuals were already just tested. People who need surgery or medical treatments are also being forced to cooperate with this test. All this for a test that the test makers say is not fully reliable in the first place. For a virus that apparently has not affected the population much more than the common flu, which the CDC has now been admitting, despite what the media wants you to believe. And why the roof of the nasal cavity? Isn't this supposed to be an airborne virus that is expelled from the lungs? Or have they changed that narrative again? Because if it is an airborne virus that's expelled from the breath, then a cheek swab should work. So why the brain scrape? Aside from the pain and discomfort of this test, the next concern is the actual location that this test is targeting, which is the cribriform plate which is a millimeter thick bone at the top of the nasal cavity that is perforated with many tiny holes that go directly into the brain cavity. These holes are what your olfactory nerves pass through. It's a very sensitive area and damaging it would make you susceptible to infection. So you could be perfectly fine, take the test and then get sick because of the damage that's been done. Secondly, since this is such a vulnerable area, it would be a great way to introduce an illness. Not necessarily the C virus, but anything. Any crazy thing that's been cooked up in a lab that might not manifest itself for months or even years after the application. And even the person performing the test would likely be ignorant of what was really going on. And by the way, if right now you're thinking the government wouldn't experiment on its own people. Just remember the Tuskegee experiment, the radioactive serial experiment, the Puerto Rico birth control experiment, and so on. Quite frankly, there are far too many to list, and the government has admitted to doing all of them. The next big concern I've heard from some people is that it would be a great place to chip someone, with the test swab being the actual applicator for a microscopic chip. Think about it. How would you ever get that chip out? That area is so sensitive that anyone other than a surgeon would likely kill you trying to remove something from that part of your body. In short, I really can't personally recommend taking this test. If you want to take the test, that's perfectly up to you. You can make your own decisions in life. I just hope you make the right one for you. 
If you are working a job that's going to force you to take this test or face suspension or even termination, which is what I've been hearing, you could argue that you have a right to refuse and you should have that right, but we all know how the world really works and I wish you luck. So I hope you found this video helpful. Maybe you've heard about the test, maybe you've had some concerns and you need to go out and do the research for yourself and see what's really been going on. If you have any further points pertaining to the video, please do feel free to post them in the comment section down below. Please do give the video a thumbs up. Easiest way to show your appreciation. Share it if you can and subscribe if you are new. Do be sure to hit the bell icon so you can be alerted when new content comes out. And check out some of the other videos if you get the chance. If you would like to help this channel out, there are links for that down below. Every little bit helps and I sure do appreciate it. I can also be found on another channel called Coffee Talk. Check it out if you get the chance. There is a link for that down below as well. So all that being said, as always, stay frosty folks, and thanks for watching.